Ladies and gentlemen, because this is an election year, Joe Biden have a proposal to lower bank overdraft fees as low as $3. Now, all this time he's been in office and it's not until the election year that he feels compelled to do something. So let's get into the story. It happens to the best of us. You spend a little more than you should have and you get hit with those awful overdraft fees. However, they may not be as pricey for long if a proposed change goes through on the national levels. So the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, an independent federal agency announced it wants to lower overdraft fees. It said right now they're $26 on average. Yeah, well, there's some banks that charge 35. I've seen it out there. They would drop between $3 and $14 under the changes. There are multiple proposals for this. One would turn the fees into loans people would pay back. Another would make the overdraft coverage a courtesy service but not for profit. The move is aimed to help folks who are just trying to get by. As a college student, you know, they're saying, you know, they tend to be broke a lot and it would be nice to lower the overdraft fees, you know, especially also for people in low income jobs. So they're saying so far, many people like the idea. They think it's unfair to the consumer and think that banks have made enough money anyway. But others don't support it. The language is pretty clear, but I think it's one person's responsibility to pay that. So whatever you agree to in writing, it's done. So this is what a resident of New Mexico said. Well, I think once you sign up for the bank, you know what the rules are and they're going to ask you for. So you need to be prepared. All right. But overall, most consumers say they do want to see a lower overdraft fee. Consumers are really getting the short end of the stick because for many consumers, they are surprised by overdraft fees and, you know, it creates a difficult situation for them. Yes, because it, it creates a negative balance, you know, for many people that get hit with those. The agency proposing the changes says in 2000, Americans have paid an estimated $280 billion in overdraft fees. That's outrageous. And I think what the banks are doing to the consumers is outrageous alone. They haven't done nothing but create all kinds of things. Look, y'all, I got something in the mail recently from Bank of America saying I opened a Merrill Lynch account with them, which I did nothing of the such kind. I absolutely hate Bank of America and the fact that somebody did this. And yeah, I, I called and raised hell with them. So anyway, back to this, you know, they, they do all kinds of underhanded things to consumers. So overdraft fees are a big deal. In a given a year, banks make between $9 billion and $12 billion in overdraft fees alone. On the consumer side, overdraft fees are really significant. The federal agency reports the average account is paying around $42 a year in overdraft fees. Banks, uh, bank lobbyists and associates don't like any of the proposals. They said some of the banks may choose to end overdraft service altogether under these regulations. So right now, banks look at overdraft programs as a means of affording credit to consumers who are in dire financial position. 
banks are saying, well, if we can't give you a $35 fee on this, we, we just won't allow you to do any overdrafts on your account, which is a mixed bag for consumers. While some consumers certainly need it and expect to use $35 overdraft fees, the practice has been considered manipulative by many consumer protection bureaus. Many in the banking industry have said it's not good that this change would cut their revenue. Yeah, but y'all get more revenue than anyone else in this country, please. Banks argue that basically they are performing an important service for consumers who are down on their luck. They're allowing people to participate in the banking system. New regulations would only apply to the largest 175 banks in the country. They wouldn't start until the fall of 2025. This is according to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. These proposals are part of an effort from the Biden administration to crack down on what it calls junk fees. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are happy to hear about this that have been getting, you know, quite a hit from these overdraft fees. So you're going to have to tell me what you think about this one, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it, times are getting tough and I'm sure most consumers would be grateful to pay $3 on an overdraft fee opposed to 35, which I think is the average. I mean, they're saying 26, I think it's 35, especially for the bigger mega banks, which a lot of people tend to have accounts with. So, boy, it's a double-edged sword when you are dealing with banking in America. You know, this time last year, y'all, there were bank collapse. There were bank collapse. And they were the smaller banks. And then you heard about all the shady dealings going on with large banks opening up all these fraudulent accounts. I mean, it's like you can't really trust any of these folks' institutions with your money at the end of the day. You came in the country as a bunch of crooks and you still act like a bunch of crooks. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.